I saw a video online that has uh, anti-bullying advice, okay? And uh, at first I was going to put a link into it and then give my commentary, but I don't want to do that. That's going to come off as me just criticizing and hating. So what I'm going to do is use these stick figures to show the content and the basic advice they gave. So basically if you have a single bully, what they want you to do is you put your arms down in front of you and use some type of authoritative tone and language. So let's say the bullies say, hey, I don't like you, They're using bad words towards you, right? You say, back off. I don't appreciate your words. Leave me alone. And you have your arms straight out in front of you with your hands up to create a barrier. Now, I think that's bad advice because it's been my experience. Let's just say in the type of environments that I've been in and my students are probably in, you have to look at the person, circle away from the person, and leave. So I'm calling it look, circle, leave. And the main thing you might want to do, too, is don't say anything to further set this person off. Because some of these people, if you say the least little thing, they're going to twist your words or use that as an opportunity to try to escalate things further. So you don't want to do that. But at the same time, you don't want to turn your back on them because you don't want them to come back and hit you on the top of the head. So let's go back to dude's advice. Okay. Hey, loser, bad words. Back off. I don't appreciate your words. What I think will happen is somebody will say, what did you say to me? What? What you say? And you're going to go, uh, pow, bap, boom. They're going to knock you upside your head and walk off and you're going to be laying on the floor in pain. And then while you're laying there, you're going to be rethinking all the martial arts training you ever took. You're going to be feeling bad and you're just going to be hurting. You're going to have that sinking feeling in your stomach. And feel like pretty much that, oh my goodness, my life is over. So that's why I think you got to go back to just look, circle, and leave. Don't take your eyes off of them again. You don't want to come up behind you. But don't say anything that's going to make them twist the words against you. Okay? I want to stress this point. Say nothing. Don't say anything to them unless you absolutely have to. And you probably do not have to say anything. So, accept the fact that you need to keep your eyes open for the bully to implement look, circle, leaves. So always be on the lookout for them. When you encounter the bully, you're probably going to freeze for a few seconds. So then when they say something to you, start breathing. Breathe deep. Again, don't say anything. Okay, concentrate on your breathing. Don't say anything. And start circling away from them. Keep your hands up, but not extend it straight out. But circle away from them while you don't say anything see the arrows circle away and you keep looking at them until you are out of harm's way okay now one thing you got to remember is that at any time even though you try to look circle leave they might try to escalate things if they do you have got to get ready okay so you look at them keep your eye on them get your hands up get ready to focus they attack you, you get ready for the counterattack. You see them move their arm back or anything. They make a move, then you cut. You might have to hit them or throw them. And you don't stop looking at them until you know the fight is over, okay? If all else fails, don't be too proud to run, all right? I always tell people that. If you have to run because it's more than one of them, don't be proud to run. And that's okay to help the person after the fight's over and you know for sure that you're safe, okay? So remember, with look, circle, leave, you have to look at the person. You keep your eye on them. Don't say anything. Create a big space between you and that bully. And you just try to leave the situation as soon as you can, okay? Because if it's more than one person, that's assault and that's a crime, okay? But if it's just a single bully that's trying to antagonize something, you want to look, circle, leave. You want to keep some space between you and the bully. And more importantly, do your best to say nothing. Now, I got another video that I call the psychology of one step sparring. I think you should take a look at that video. I will put a link to that in there. This will give you a formalized, more classical type way of practicing this exercise and getting into the subconscious. This has been Cecil Washington for Cecil Ryu Taekwondo. Cecil Ryu Martial Arts. Peace.